Gonna talk to you about the restoration comedy yet again. Gonna bang through a few of these character types for you today. Specifically, I'm gonna talk to you today about a character type called a fop, spelled F-O-P, a fop character. Now, there are lots of examples of fop characters within restoration comedy. The main fop character within um, The Country Wife is a character called Sparkish. Now, the name Sparkish is a very ironic one because there was nothing, there is nothing sparky about his character. He's not intelligent at all. He's a bit of a bumbling fool. Um, he is um, described as a fop by many of the other characters within the play. And generally speaking, Speaking, you can describe him as a very clownish kind of buffoon-like kind of character. So a fop in Restoration Times was a name given to a male character who, a male person, who will affect the highest forms of fashion but not get it quite right. So the modern equivalent, I guess, of a fop is somebody who you might describe as someone as a tryhard. They just try too hard. They're not cool because you can see that in any social situation they are just trying too hard to be popular. So they want desperately, desperately, desperately to be like fit to fit in and to be popular. And to do that, they'll buy the sort of fashion items and the things that they think will make them fit in. Um, however, a fop character Character does not fit in. They're a foolish character. They are objects of fun for the audience and also for the other um, characters on stage. So a character like Sparkish will often um, be being spoken down to by other characters. He will often be of a low status. And uh, one more thing that you want to remember about fops uh, is that they are easily fooled. So because disguise is such a major theme within the play, there are one or two occasions within the play where disguises are used and fop characters um, don't see through the disguises. Uh, other characters, like more intelligent characters like Rakes, I'm going to do another video about Rakes very, very, very shortly, they will see through uh, disguises because they're witty characters, they're clever, they understand social situations and so they're able to see through sort of disguise and deception and see the real sort of motives and intentions of the characters. A fop character cannot do this because they are, by their very nature, witless. They don't understand the humour and the kind of wordplay that's happening around them. They're easily fooled and they're also um, considered to be very, very um, low status and a, a bit sort of silly and stupid. Kind of kind of characters. Okay, so there you go. That's a fop character for you. Uh, I think the definition of a fop character is someone who affects, um, who takes on. Um, oh, how do I describe this? They he, he, they sort of um, they affect high class kind of uh, mannerisms and uh, to try and fit in. However, they fail at this. They fail at it miserably. So you'll often see within, um, uh, certainly within the country wife, the fop characters will be wearing slightly more exaggerated clothes than the rest of the characters because they are fops, therefore they don't get that they look a bit stupid, so they'll be wearing silly kind of little things. They'll often wear a lot more makeup than other characters as well, and they'll often be a bit more bumbly and kind of high energy and sort of running around the stage and a bit more screamy. They're often very annoying, if I'm honest, fop characters, and but uh, to to understand what a fop is, um, it is really crucial to kind of understanding uh, what the country wife is kind of all about. So there you have it, a fop character, characterised by buffoonery, foolishness, a desire to fit in, but not being able to fit in, and also very witless, so they're not very, very clever characters. Fop, remember the name, fop.